Alright, this is going to be a short video on Arduino Stack Overflow error. I have looked on YouTube for solutions on this problem. I've never seen one, so I'm going to make one. And this, what you're looking at right now, is the code that I'm starting for the computer or Arduino that I'm going to be putting in my truck. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys one problem that I've ran into that will cause the stack overflow. All right, so let's do it real quick. As you can see right here, I wrote it into my code, so I'll know if I ever do it again that that could be wrong. So we'll just put one of those in there, and we'll verify it, and it will give me a stack overflow, or at least it should. All right, there we go. She did it. Oh no, so this is some other stupid error, but. If you look at like that'll still screw you up. It's not gonna load. It's gonna act like it is, but it ain't. And it's just gonna say you're gonna give you this error. So, right, so we'll stop that. And I don't, yeah, alright, so now it'll compile just fine. Alright, so now let's I don't know why that one didn't give the stack overflow. We'll try this. We'll just comment this out. Alright. Okay, this is weird. It's not giving me the uh, stack overflow error this time, but something as small as that not commented out in your code will give you stack overflow or whatever this Java error is. It's going to give you an error. It's going to piss you off. You're not going to know what to do. I sat there looking at my code and I'm, I'm using 1.0. I'm not using the updated one. so. I, I thought it might be that, but I did the checking, went through all my codes several, several times, and then I found that one stupid thing that screwed me up. So that's my video on Stack Overflow. Hope it helps someone.